Oh, yeah, okay. I think I saw a picture of you like in front of a pyramid or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been a lot of places. Yeah. Hey guys, before we get started, I wanted to share a quick tip. If you're learning a language, I wanted to let you know about a website called italki.com. This is actually the resource I use to find a native teacher who's teaching me Italian. But if you're looking for custom one-on-one -on -one lessons in Japanese, English, or another language, definitely check out the link below to see how you can get a free lesson. Okay, here we go! Hi guys, we are here today uh, to talk about a recent announcement I made about moving to Japan. <laughs> it has been kind of a whirlwind, nervous kind of event for me to try to get everything ready to go. So today I have brought Charlie to kind of help me get a little bit of extra advice about what it's like to really uproot pull the trigger and go. Um, you should definitely go check out her channel. We're gonna leave some space for it right in there. So make Yay. sure that you definitely go check it out. Okay, so the first question is, um, can you kind of remind everyone a little bit about your background? My real travel experience started in 2010 when I moved to South Korea for three and a half years. And in between that, I traveled to different countries and for one year lived in Mexico, um, teaching English in both countries and do, doing travel vlogging, so yeah. So what first made you kind of want to leave? What was yeah. the wanderlust? Because I had an old roommate message me. She said she was teaching English in China. And that was the first time I'd ever heard about teaching English abroad and she invited me over. And I was like, oh my gosh, this sounds so cool. Yeah. I'm on it. Like, But the crazy thing was she bailed on me last minute. <laughs> So I decided I really want to go to Korea and I searched and searched for a legal way to teach English abroad. Okay. Yeah, I got a teaching certificate and um, did all this stuff really fast yeah. <laughs> and then I got to Korea. The important thing is to always make sure you have a, someone to receive your mail things like that. Um, make sure your bills are being able to be paid while you're abroad. Yeah. Uh, are you going to be taking money out of the bank when you're abroad? Um, does your bank have connections with the bank in the country you're going to? Without Maybe. fees, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about a week ago, I got a piece of mail for jury duty. Oh, That yeah. is like <laughs> the day after I arrive in Japan. If I hadn't seen that piece of mail, I probably yeah. would have gotten fined like yeah. an extra thousand dollars. So yeah, keeping a handle on yeah. it. Like, what's something you constantly find yourself getting rid of? A lot of people are held down by their belongings. A lot of people say, oh, I don't have money to travel. But you have stuff. You have stuff. So <laughs> things that you're not using or that are just holding you back. A lot of times when you don't have a lot of stuff, you're, it, it's a lot easier to just get up and go. Yeah. Yeah, because we tend to make excuses for reasons to stay and usually it's all this stuff holding us back. A big thing that holds people back is a car. Okay. I decided to sell my car yeah. and that's like one of the biggest freedoms that I've experienced Okay. is letting go of my car. I'm oh. not telling you to sell your car, but if you do want to sell your car, that money could be used towards travel. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what can I sell? <laughs> I need yeah. a car to sell. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you can plan, prepare, you can spend so much time watching people yeah. on YouTube in that country, like, oh, I want to go, reading books, learning the language, but there comes a point when you just have to buy the ticket. Yeah. Yeah. And just, just go just for go. it. Just go. Yeah. Here in New York, it was also very difficult to kind of shut down a very comfortable situation. Yeah. The earlier you go, the easier it is to go. It is. And once you've gone, it's so much easier to go back. Yeah. A lot of people ask about how much money do you need mm. to save up or is it like a set amount? Yeah. Do you have any advice about that? Yes, I usually tell people a thousand dollars for every month you'll be there without work or income coming in. Okay. So there's like a month before you start, like before you get your check. Yeah. So that month you you, you have You're to depend fronting on everything. Yeah. A lot of people like to go to Japan first on like a tourist visa and mm. feel things out and see if they can find work and then somehow switch over to a work visa. Mm. That visa is three months. Mm. So with this wonderful equation of thousand <laughs> times three months. So that would be three dollars. Three dollars. <laughs> yes! You only need $3, $3 to go, go to Japan. Buy that ticket. <laughs> $3,000. Yeah, so that's about $3,000. And if you yeah. sell your car, if you have a car to sell, yeah. that's probably at least a third, if not half, yeah. of the way, if not the whole thing. Yeah. So you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> it depends on where you're going, but like, yeah, it's doable if you can manage it. You can yeah. do it. You can do it. <laughs> Whatever country you're going to, make friends with the natives, learn the language. Yeah. Um, start before you go, like yeah. even just basic things. For example, for me, I don't eat meat. And so that's one of the first things I learn before I go to a country is how to say, 
can I get this with no meat? Yeah. Um, where is the restroom? Uh, thank you. Hello. I'm lost. Can you help me? <laughs> or like, or these days, like, is there a charger? Is yeah. There an outlet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things like yeah. New age. Problems. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So learn some basic things before you go. But once you get there, keep learning. Yeah. Yeah. This, but one of the things that I found in Japan that's mm. really helpful is to write down everyone's birthday of the mm. people who matter, of mm. your real friends or your host families, their birthdays, their address, where you can mail something, mm. and their email address. Mm. And every year for the holidays, like New Year's and for their birthday, mm. send them, even if it's just a few brief sentences, just send them some sort of like goodwill. Yeah. And that kind of, it sounds kind of selfish, but that kind of like ensures a free <laughs> bed the next time that you come back yeah. because what you're doing is you're establishing a really good relationship mm -hmm. and you know a place to come back to so if, even if you're coming for a brief time if you meet someone keep in touch don't just like blow it off as a one shot yeah. kind of vacation mm -hmm. make the most of it yeah so we are going to talk a little bit more about some of the topics that you just mentioned mm -hmm. specifically about phrases in other countries over on your channel yeah but for right now ありがとうございました。はい。この動画が良かったらいいねボタンとシェアとチャンネル登録もそれからチャーリーさんのチャンネルも登録してください。じゃあ、I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.